Welcome back to the Factor on Uncensored. When it comes to someone getting ready to smash in the bedroom, contracts and video agreements are now the new norm, believe it or not. It's these damn young people. Well, for some men, it's a necessary step before getting it on. Why? This is in case their partner turns around and tries to accuse them of a serious crime like sexual assault, and we know how devastating that can be. Joining us for the conversation tonight, influencers Zachary Devon, Jay Bradley, and Jasmine OKK. Glad to have you here on The Factor Uncensored. So, Jasmine, when you saw this trend that's out there now, your thoughts on, uh, say, if you go on a date, or if you choose to videotape someone. Sure. But if they ask you, like, okay, you're consenting to spending an evening, a night with me, would you do that? To be perfectly honest, I definitely would. Um, not only being a woman that dates men, but I also have brothers, and I can just understand how detrimental and just like you said, Isaiah, how detrimental that can be if someone has those sorts of accusations on them. So honestly, consent is always that important. And in this digital age, it's no problem having that sort of digital footprint. I'd rather be safe than sorry, so uh -huh. I'm down for it. All right, Zach, your thoughts about this trend that we're seeing now where young people or... Hmm. You know, people no, Jay's young, age. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I started that trend. Um, <laughs> but your thoughts about it? Um, I, I think it's necessary, you know, um, on a serious note, because it's uh, it's very easy for, you know, a young woman to turn it on you and be like, hey, you know, I didn't agree to this. So having boundaries, setting boundaries is important. And, uh, you know, there's mobile notaries available that you can get online on a Skype ch chat. You don't have to film everything. You can just get them to, you know, notarize some real quick. Just have a contract, you know, put in a little package. You've been Skyping and, yeah, notaries? You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it gets serious with you, huh? <laughs> My glasses record. You know, I got a lot of things going on. So, um, but, you know, definitely on a serious note, keep yourself safe. Make sure you set those boundaries. And uh, there's nothing wrong with the contract. So, you know, NDAs are great, too. And Jay, obviously you have a lot of friends. A lot of you guys are businessmen. Yeah. You have a lot to lose if you run into the wrong person. Yeah. Yeah, I, I tend to, what I've realized as I was thinking about this, I was like, I've dated mostly women that are, also have something to lose, right? So there are other business professionals, all the above, but I've got some organizations that I'm a part of where I've signed a morality clause, mm -hmm. right? And so if I violate something that deems to be a violation of that morality clause, even if it's a false accusation, I lose my position, I lose the things that I have invested in it, and if it's over a false al accusation, that's horrible for me. Mm -hmm. I've got my dad, I've got kids, and this is, you know, so over a date? No, it's not worth it, man. It's and so would you be willing to take this extra step? Absolutely. I've actually dated a young lady who actually does this as well. She hit me, she's like, Jay, use my NDA. We had a conversation two weeks ago. She's like, I've had guys, I was like, you really had dudes sign this? She said, yeah, I've had guys sign it. And for the average viewer who doesn't know what that is, non-disclosure exactly. agreement. Exactly. Whatever happens is private. Exactly, exactly. So I think it's just really one of those things where you want to, these streets, these streets, it, it's, the streets are different, you know? It's not, it's not like it was in the 70s and 80s, man. <laughs> We're in a different age, and if you have the wrong person in your life, and maybe they wake up, and maybe, oh, I shouldn't have done that last night, and now it's on you, and it was all good just, just last night, and now, all of a sudden, you're a criminal. That's not okay. And, of course... We, we can't just say this is to protect the guys because women are victimized yeah. every day. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That is and, very true. And they should have something in, in, in the way of protecting themselves just like the NDA or just like the videotape, right? I agree with that. I completely agree. But I will say, um, though there are a lot of like gray areas and <coughs> being intimate with people and dating, it can sometimes bring about muddy waters. But... To be quite frank, if your sex life requires so much gray area as a man or as a woman that you have to kind of make sure people sign paperwork or are recorded saying that they are agreeing to have sex with you, you should probably maybe take a break and <laughs> do some internal um, analysis of the situation. You know, we call it a process audit. Uh, you know, take some time, think about what's going on because it shouldn't be that much confusion going on in your bedroom. Like, it should be a little bit of understanding going on. But to add to your point, I do agree. For women and for men, it, consent is very, very important. So if it makes everybody feel comfortable afterwards, it's cool to have the camera out and consent, but 
Just because I consent to a drink or a date doesn't mean I consent to going all the way with you. Just because I consent to sleeping over doesn't mean I consent to going all the way with you. So it gets a little Wait muggy. Wait a minute. You ain't gonna just be sleeping over at <laughs> no guys. It gets, the, the law you gotta is have the details law. And <laughs> exactly. It has to be details. I'm just saying you have to have a lot of storage for all that. So make sure you get the new iPhone. We'll get one terabyte of memory. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna mm -hmm. store a lot. Go ahead, I'll Jay. do this even on a date, man. And really quick, if, Jay. If, if, I'm, if I'm going to touch somebody, hey, is it okay if I touch you on your back? Oh, yeah, it's okay. Okay, cool. That way she's comfortable, I'm comfortable, and she doesn't start feeling violent at any point. I'd much rather be safe than sorry. All right. We want to thank you all for joining us tonight thank here you. on The Factor on Sensitive.